What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Welcome back to another career mode series on Don Bradman Cricket 17. Before we go and get any further, remember if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button down below. Let's aim for 150 likes on this video. And if you are new, please do hit that subscribe button. Anyway, today we are back with some more Australian State Shield. Today, taking on the Bush Rangers. Let's go and get things underway. Alright guys, so we're back in here. Victoria, they've got off to a great start. Finchy and Quiney, very, very efficient at the moment. Uh, 68 for none off 12 overs. And we're getting use of a fairly new ball this time around. Because last time uh, we did come on, I think, about the 60th over. So hopefully we can try and get a bit of swing, we can get a bit of movement, and we can get some wickets. Oh, that one there has come off the outside edge. I thought there was possibly a chance. We have changed the field a little bit uh, just due to the fact that both these batsmen are quite aggressive. But a big outside edge by Bobby Quiney and just not quite having the fielder there. So chance potentially gone down. Oh, oh I honestly think we need to plug that hole. That is the second one in the space of four balls that has gone uh, into that area. So we will make a change to the field and hopefully that will bring us a little bit of luck. Oh, we got Bobby Quiney leaving them now. This field placing has worked quite well. It's gone and really restricted the flyer runs. As you can see down the bottom, four dot balls already in this over. For God's sake, that is the second time that has happened now. And that is the second time we've gone for four overthrows because of my stupid backward point, not waiting for someone to go and back up. That is just honestly frustrating. Quiney moves to 90. Edged and taken. Oh, you beauty. The change in the field worked. We went from balance to attacking. No hundred for Bobby Quiney. He has gone for 90. And that is Cliff's very first wicket for Tasmania in the domestic comp. And what a wicket to take as well. Rob Quiney, a very well-known player going around the Australian domestic circuit. Edged. Oh. The plan's worked again. The captain for today, Maxi, is gone. Cliff's got his second, and George Bailey is having a field day out there at backward point. His second catch on the space of about three balls. And all of a sudden, uh, Tasmania, they're back in this game. Victoria still two for 40, but both Quiney and Maxwell back in the hut. And, oh! I thought that was another chance. But what a shot by Cammy White. It's gone for four. It was in that area, though. That's what we want to do. We want those players to be playing aggressively, eerily through there, and hopefully getting an edge like Quiney and Maxwell have done to date so far. Edged! Oh! That tactic, this outswing tactic, has worked wonders. Have we had another slip there? Or possibly uh, a gully? We would have been in for our third wicket. And 3 for 15 off 5.3 would have been some amazing stats, considering the uh, how the game's going. Oh! Please tell me that's been taken. Please! If not, that is a great bit of fit. Oh! We just needed to appeal. It's gone. It's another one. Cam White back in the hut. Cliff gets his third. My oh my. I'm sure that Timmy Payne is wondering, why didn't I bowl this kid earlier on in the game last time around? Picks up his third wicket. And we are going to have a look at the replay on this one because a very, very sharp catch by that man. Simon Malenko at third slip. Absolute screamer. We did have to appeal for that one. It wasn't given out straight away. So uh, that's why the hands do go up. As I said, Cameron White back in the hut. Nine off 11 balls. Cliff gets his third. Victoria, three down. Oh! Timmy Payne dive for that. I am sure that has come off the bat, boy. That would have been two in the over. But nonetheless, we finished with a wicket maiden. Oh, another edge. That one there wouldn't have mattered where the field was, unless we had like a fly slip. But that is exactly the ploy we're looking to do. Big outside edge for Hanscom. He gets off the mark. Nice shot by Finchie, actually, just to guide that one away. It might even go all the way. Nah, good bit of fielding out there. Just keeps it to two. Expensive over that one in the context of Cliffy Spell. It's gone for seven. But there was that chance, Hanscom with that big flashing drive, and he got that thick outside edge, which just eluded the slips. Another edge, and another catch. Finchie goes. We just had a rain delay, so we'll come back after that. 
Bailey grabs his third of the game. Finchie with a very well made 100. But that's four for for Cliff. And he is eyeing down with the tail in now. Eyeing down a maiden five wicket bag. And just his second first class game for Tassie. Oh, hit away from Pattinson. Half a chance. But a very good shot nonetheless from a guy. Actually, sorry, it's John Hastings. I was going to say. Um, that's a pretty good shot by a guy who's come in and faced his first ball. Just uh, a little bit too straight. Flicked off the pads, almost gets forward. The timing was very, very good. Oh, driven eerily. That's a great shot by Pattinson. Down the ground, that's going to be four for him. He moves to 35, seven coming off the over, but we got the big wicket of Finchy. He's back in the hut. Victoria, seven for 288 or 292. I'm not 100% sure. Edged. Oh, just short. Anything that has come off the edge. Or is looking like it's going to be a wicket. We're getting excited for. We just need one more, remember, for that maiden five wicket haul. Oh, driven handsomely. Again by Pattinson. We're going to miss out on the maiden because of another handsome drive. But we don't mind him going through the covers like that. The edge, it can't be far away. That fifth wicket is on the tip of our tongue at the moment. All right, boys, we're 81 overs in now. We should have the new ball in hand. Let's get this outswing going. And let's pick up this fifth and final wicket for the team. Oh, and it's almost perfect. It's edged that man at backward point. I think it's George Bailey. He's had a field day there today. Hopefully, he'll be looking to pick up another catch. Ooh, driven a bit uppishly there by Johnny Holland. We don't mind that. We don't mind those big expansive drives from him. Hopefully, we can try and nick him out. Ariel. Oh, and into the gap. No cover there, and uh, that is going to race away for a four. Again, we don't mind that. We don't mind the big expansive drives if it is going to eventually lead to an edge. Hit along the ground into the gap. What a partnership these two are putting on. That's going to be another four, so eight coming off the over. This isn't what we want with the new ball, boys. We want that last wicket, both for the team and for us to pick up that maiden five wicket bag. Alright, so just to recap basically what's happened, we weren't able to pick up that last wicket, that went to Jackson Bird, Johnny Holland, 36 off 39, a great innings by him, we finished with 4 for 42 off 11 overs, which in our second first class game, it's not terrible, we would have been looking to try and get, uh, you know, that 5 wicket bag, but at the end of the day, 380, it's not the worst score in the world, let's see how we respond with the bat in the first innings. Nice shot, Cliffy. We're going to play that one away. The first couple were quite full from James Patterson, but that one there, we've rocked back on the back foot, pulled that away, and it's gone for four through mid-wicket for our first runs of the day. Still 96 behind, but plenty of time left to go in this game. Nice shot again from Cliff, this time on the opposite side of the ground, through the covers. That's going to be back-to-back -back fours. We move on to eight off just four deliveries. So we're carrying on that aggressive start that we had in the first game. I was going to say, I thought they were persisting with the same field to the same bowler, but it is Sids who has come in, and he's been taken down to that vacant mid-on region. Probably not going to have the legs, actually, to uh, to go 4-4, but it doesn't matter, because we're going to come back and run 4 anyway. I think that moves Cliff on to 12, and uh, going about it in very quick fashion. I'll take that down the ground. That might... Oh, no, we'll come back for 2. Faulkner's quick. He's going to the danger end, and... Uh, Cliff, just a little bit slow between the wickets here, but comes through and completes the two. Boom, another one into that vacant mid-on region. If you're going to leave that spear for me, Pete Siddle, that's where the ball's going. Again, not the greatest of timings in the world, uh, but Forks, he's coming back to the danger end, and Cliff does seem to be very slow between the wickets, but still able to run four at this big MCG ground. Boom, swatted away this time. It's a short ball, and it has been taken to to that, I guess, mid-wicket or even square leg boundary, forward square leg. That's gone for another four. Expensive over this one for Sids. He's gone for 14 off his first four balls. Give me some of that. That's better timing from Cliff. That's going to race away. What an over this has been so far. Four fours and a two coming off it. Still one ball left to go. We are moving on. I think we've overtaken Faulkner in the run chase. Boom, down the ground. We're going to rush through. 
steal the single, keep the strike for the next over. But we're now even with Forks. I did say that we were in ahead, but we are now even. We have taken a lot less balls, though, to get there. Oh, off the back foot. Just pushed into the gap nonchalantly by Cliff. He'll pick up another one. Goes past Faulkner. 28 of 14 so far. Boom. Through the covers. You can leave a gap there all you like. It is just going to disappear. We're going to have to row back. Whoo, for the second, though. Direct hit. But we did get there just. We are going to have to watch our running between the wickets. Oh, no timing by that from Cliff whatsoever. He's going to nudge it into the leg side, though, and pick up another single. Oh, no timing. It's short. It's pulled away. And uh, going to run back again for the second. Whew, and the direct hit, I think he was gone. We're just trying to keep the strike at the moment. That's better timing from Cliff. Played into the gap too. Might not have the legs to go all the way. In fact, it is very quick outfield here at the G today. That's gone to four. We're moving close to that maiden 50 after going close to that maiden five wicket bag in the first innings for us. Boom goes Cliff. Aggressive. That wasn't quite where I was looking to go and put it, but it's going to be another four. And that could potentially change the field again. I think we move into the 40s now. So just uh, down to single figures, I believe, required for that maiden first class 50. Oh, down the ground through Pattinson. And that, again, might not have the legs. It has just gone. We move on to 45 and another expensive over. Three fours, a hat trick of fours coming off it. Oh, and take that. I was going to say, probably again, not the timing to go all the way, but should be able to come back for three. In fact, this outfield of the G today is incredible. That's another four. We move on to 49, just one run away from that excl uh, ex exclusive. I guess that's what you call it. Elusive would probably be the better word. Elusive 50. Boom, smash through the covers, and that is going to be 50 in just his second uh, first class game to back up that four wicket bag from the first innings. What a effort from Cliff. He moves on to 52 off just 27 deliveries. 10 fours in that 52. But anyway guys, that is all we have time for today. Next time we'll come back, we'll rejoin us in the batting innings and have some bowling uh, from the second innings. We've done pretty well though. Obviously four wickets in that first innings and then a 52. We'll just go and have a look at the scorecard just so we can see. So four for 42 in the first innings. And now we've come on with 52 of 27. And Tasmania aren't very far behind in this run chase whatsoever at all. But... I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Cliffy, your king of career mode and New Zealand's number one source of Don Bradman cricket content, signing out.